Hello and welcome to this X8R video demonstrating our repair kit for a VAG intake manifold flap motor. The kit consists of three pieces a round main cog, a semicircular cog, and a new gasket for sealing the two halves of the motor together after the repair is complete. The new cogs are carbon fibre infused for extra strength and durability. Here you can see the flap motor removed from a vehicle. The flap inside quite often sticks due to carbon deposits clogging up the spindle. But more often than not, the fault is caused by the internal cogs being worn or broken due to years of use. The unit will often be very dirty after removal, so the first step is to clean it with brake cleaner. The first stage of the repair is to remove the four T20 Torx screws, as shown here. There is no specific order in which these need to be removed, but be careful to store them safely during the repair as they will need to be refitted later. Once the four screws are removed, the motor can be split into two. Use a small flathead screwdriver to prise the two pieces apart. If it is stiff, you may need a larger flathead screwdriver. Be careful as there are two electrical prongs connecting the two and they may cause resistance when pulling the two halves apart. Now the motor is split into two, you can see the cogs working on the inside by twisting the flap. The next step is to remove the two T10 torque screws on the inside of the motor. Once the screws are undone, the whole corner piece should lift up and this will enable you to remove the main cog away from the main unit. Here you can see damage on the cog which has caused the flap to not work correctly. The next stage is to remove the semicircular cog here. There are two ways of removing this. Firstly, a Dremel tool. Be careful not to damage the metal. Secondly, you can use a pair of snips to cut away the plastic. Now the cogs are removed, you can see the bare shell of the internals. Before fitting our kit, make sure the holes in the rotating piece are clear of any debris as our prongs on the new piece need to go through these. Firstly, fit the semicircular piece. This can be clipped into position, lining up the prongs on the rear of the piece with the holes on the metal. It should click into place with a strong click. The next stage is to refit the new main cog. Lift up the white corner piece, as shown here, line up the cogs and slide it back into position on the main spindle.
Before testing the rotation of the new cogs, reinsert the T10 Torx screws to hold it all in place. Once both new cogs are replaced, you can then test the unit, as shown here. The next stage of the process is to remove the old sealing gasket. This can be done using a pick tool. Gently lever up the old gasket and pull away. You can now install the new gasket. This is precision made to fit exactly where the old one has come out. It will just push into place, as shown here. That completes the install of the new components and it's now time to pair up the two halves of the unit again. Use the electrical prongs on one half and the holes on the opposing half to line up the halves to fit together. Be careful to not damage the electrical connections. The unit should just slot back together. The final stage is to install the four T20 torque screws back into their holes. There is no specific order to install these and any gaps between the two units will be closed up when the screws are tightened securely. Thank you for watching our video detailing how to fix the intake manifold flap motor on VAG diesel engines. If you have any questions, you can contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.